6, Savannah's top cop is reacting to the guilty verdict in the trial of Derek Chauvin. I made it very clear that what I saw in that video was horrific, it was inexcusable, and I let everybody know, based on what I saw on the video, I believe it was a homicide. And the jury's verdict confirmed what I believe I saw in that video. We bring in WJCL's Danae Bucci. You spoke with Chief Roy Mentor and local law experts. Well, Riley, we spoke about how this could have a lasting impact, not only here in Savannah, but nationally. And the experts I spoke to say it's just one step in the right direction. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This time, the jurors got it right. The three guilty verdicts in the Derek Chauvin case signaling to a potential national consensus that police accountability needs to be a priority. I think this conviction, yes, indeed, signals to the United States and to law enforcement in particular that no longer will citizens just wait in silence and that jurors are... Um, going to take into consideration all of the evidence. We realize that this is really about accountability, and we've been talking about this for quite some time um, in the law enforcement profession. Savannah Police Chief Roy Minter says his department's prioritization of accountability and community partnership can help mend years of broken bonds. We realize that this trial really highlighted the, the need for rebuilding or strengthening relationships between law enforcement agencies and the communities that we serve. And Tuesday's guilty verdict becoming one of the very few legal actions taken against police officers, which Georgia Southern University professor Maxine Bryant says needs to stop being a rarity. Most of them are good. Most of them care for citizens, regardless of race, creed, gender, orientation, anything. But the bad ones need to be held accountable. Derek Chauvin was a bad cop. And coming up at 7, I spoke with the Georgia ACLU about what systematic changes they want to see in terms of police accountability. Riley? All right, Danae, thank you so much.